What's the problem? Some bars refusing to pay. They reckon they're protected by a local gang of thugs. But don't worry, Tommy. I can handle it. You call this handling it? You two, off your asses. Let's go. Get in the car, useless. They set sail for the new world, which they heard had a magnificent roller coaster. Once they got here, they were very hungry, having been on a ship for 65 days. So they ate for three days straight. Thanksgiving quickly became an annual custom. America was founded by people who wanted a place where they could tell other people how to live. And I'm a history major. But do we have the right? The question, is it moral to celebrate Thanksgiving, a holiday that is clearly about gluttony, annoying relatives, and awful casserole? Well, I for one love a casserole. And at my weekly meeting, my congregation has a potluck. You see, a casserole is a lot like life, Maurice, and that's the basis of my philosophy. If you put a bunch of leftovers from the fridge in a pan and... Your protection needs a little more protection. Ah, oh, hell, not again. I don't need this crap. These idiots operate out of DBP security around the block. You guys just sort it out among yourselves. I'll be seeing you later. Yeah, yeah, whatever. your own buffalo and take home the meat or give the locals the flu while buying their land off them for a pittance that's what children need uh, uh, what is wholesome activities that benefit the family and what good is it if a kid plays degeneratron for five hours oh sure he's killing space aliens thank you very much but it ain't putting food on the table me with your eyes. Well, I tell you, I was a cheerleader and nearly a prom queen, and I could have married anyone, but I chose John. I chose him because he had a kind face and a rich dad. I didn't know he was going to cheat on me or embarrass me. I didn't know, but I won't be made a fool of. I've got the children. Okay, Jan, it's okay. Men are idiots. Ask my ex-wife. <laughs> Don't worry. Stay calm. I'm not eyeing you up, but I am a little worried about you. How are the children? Do they enjoy school? Of course they do! Ah! That's precise. Who are you, Pete? Don't destroy him first. A man you like set animals on. He's the enemy, and you sit in a foxhole till this time. You make me run and I'll get all sweaty. Get out of the way! Uh.